This is RealAgriculture.com Seed Pod, the podcast that gives you insight into the Canadian seed industry. Welcome to another episode of the Seed Pod brought to you by BioVision Seed Labs. BioVision, let's grow together. Okay, today we are joined by Canadian Seed Trade Association President Brent Durkatch. Brent, how's it going today? Excellent, Sean. Thanks for having me. Hey, great. And also uh, Operations Manager for Cantera Seeds. Yes, correct. The Director of Operations and Business Development with Cantera Seeds based out of Winnipeg. Uh, cool. Well, I really appreciate you joining us. We're at Grow Canada. Just had a great time. Did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, Grow Canada is an awesome event. It's uh, a highlight uh, conference. Uh, the who's who in the industry is here. Uh, lots of great uh, networking opportunities and great speakers on the agenda to, to help us think bigger in this industry. It's kind of neat to see, uh, you know, you don't go to a lot of ag conferences where, you know, we're in Ottawa and you're walking around and at the reception you got MPs walking around, you have some other bureaucrats walking around. It's really kind of a, it's an interesting way for the industry to talk and integrate with uh, some of the political figures. But we're going to talk about seed and what's going on right now in the seed industry from the CSTA's perspective. What are some of the key things that you are, you're really focused on in your year as the president? Uh, well, lots of exciting things, as you mentioned. Uh, one of the bigger ones is a project called Seed Synergy, which is a, uh, a group of six seed-related associations uh, working together on a project to uh, uh, increase the level of collaboration, try to create a more unified voice, uh, whether it's for regulators or whoever the audience needs to be uh, for our industry, and uh, kind of bringing everybody closer together. Um, we realize that, you know, first of all, the ag industry is relatively small, in the big scheme of things, but the seed industry itself is even smaller. And so in order to be as effective as possible with our messaging, um, we need to bring ourselves together. And so there's a lot of opportunities uh, here in Canada to do that, and the six associations are, are going to work together on this project. When you think about it, you think about the relative, relatively small size of the Canadian seed industry, especially when you compare it to, say, like the American seed trade industry, which in ASTA is also going on this week. But, you know, I grew up, on a seed farm and I grew up inside the CSGA and my grandfather was heavily involved in uh, seed grower politics as we'll call it and it, when, you, when I think about it it's like six organizations and, I, and I, I may be biased here but it just seems like it's a lot considering how small the industry really is and when the seed industry is trying to say talk to some of the politicians that are here like they have been this week it's like oh hello we're from the seed industry well i thought you were here yesterday oh that's a different group like it, it just seems like it would add confusion when you're trying to engage change with whether it's other industries or politicians yeah i agree totally it's uh, it's been a fragmented um segment i guess to a degree and so you know to be as effective as possible. It's just about getting that message together. Um, you know, and personally, I have personal experience in, in spending time with MPs and uh, communicating about uh, the wishes of uh, policy changes on the behalf of the Canadian Sea Trade Association, and I, I totally echo those comments. It's, weren't you just here the other day, or, um, you know, are, are you saying the same thing as your industry colleagues? And it's not always aligned, and I think we've recognize that and if we're going to move the needle and, and make a difference then we just have to overcome that uh, segmentation and I think there's a lot of history involved as well with these associations you know if I look at two of the six uh, Canadian Seed Growers Association and Canadian Seed Trade Association as examples combined there's over over 200 years or around 200 years of of existence in these associations and so there was reasons why they were originally created and they evolved over a period of time um, some of the other associations uh, have been uh, created maybe more recently but they all had a purpose um, it just was maybe for a little bit of a, a segmented or an isolated or a very specialized purpose um, but times change. Things need to be modernized. We need to think uh, maybe a little bit differently about creating some degree of level of efficiency in our system. And so now we have to take a step back and see what roles each of these associations do and how we can potentially bring things maybe a little bit tighter together. Well, as we're talking about the organizations, the number of organizations potentially getting smaller or changing or redefining themselves some of your members are also doing the same. You know, and our, a lot of our audience is, is farmers or seed growers, and, and they're looking at some of the consolidation that's potentially going to happen in our industry. How does that impact the seed industry as well? 
Well, there would be the obvious uh, financial impact, whether you have a, if you have a member-based association that has a certain uh, membership fee. So if you have less players, you have less members and potentially less revenue opportunities from those membership dues. Um, You also have the human resource factor. You'll find that um, in Canada, there's a lot of the same or similar uh, volunteers in industry that step up for committee work or um, board representation and things like that. And I would I would suggest there's probably a little bit of fatigue at that level. Um, and so all of these things kind of coming together as uh, I wouldn't say it has forced us into this position, but it maybe has re- made us realize as an industry that we need to make some degree of change. Okay, and tell us a little bit about uh, a, a new program or a campaign that you have started tying, uh, you, you tell us about it, it's better, better Seed, Better Life, but tell us a little bit about it. So uh, over a, a period of uh, many months, um, our Stakeholder Relations Committee uh, took the time uh, working with our staff to evaluate existing, we'll call them ag advocacy or industry advocacy uh, and awareness uh, campaigns that are, that are being run in Canada. And uh, there's lots of really, really good ones that are out there. And uh, we came to a point of needing to decide, you know, what role was the CSTA going to play in helping build awareness for the seed industry in Canada in a, maybe a, in a more uh, aggressive way. I don't know if that's the right word, aggressive, but it would just to be maybe a little bit more proactive and get our message out. And so the realization was that our uh, our neighbors uh, in the U.S. through the American Seed Trade Association had uh, have previously launched uh, or recently launched a, a Better Seed, Better Life campaign, which is aimed to help educate not just the public, but also to help empower their members and the member staff to, to carry the message of the industry. So rather than CSTA um, starting from scratch and creating a uh, their own uh, new campaign, uh, campaign, um, we decided that we would uh, partner with, with ASTA and, uh, and work together with them based on all the great work that they've done uh, rather than starting from scratch. So um, that's going to be uh, launched in coming months and uh, you'll see that trickle out into uh, broader stream media, uh, social media and otherwise and, and we're going to go through uh, a period of, uh, let's call it training and, and engagement with our members to help get that word out. Well, without seed, Lindsay, we don't have plants. So we've got to remember that everything starts with the seed, the old tagline goes. Okay, Brent, thanks a lot for joining us. Um, good luck with the rest of your time as president of CSTA, and uh, good luck to Cantera Seeds as they head into the 2017 planting season. Great. Thanks, Sean. Really appreciate the opportunity.